Mike is Mark the Arcturian. Choose wisely, grasshoppers. How'd you like that brand new opening? I got blasted because my opening was too long. Now it's down to 10 seconds. In fact, it's so short. Let's watch it again. The animation is timed perfectly with seven electrical short circuit sounds I blended together in this 10 seconds. Watch. <laughs> Hi, it's Mark Arturi in April 1st, 2017. All for one, and one for all. Hip, hip! Oh, no, you're too kind. Please, sit down. Please, thank you, thank you. Now, since you all obviously missed that in my previous film... Shh, come here, come here, shh, shh. I am the fourth musketeer. No, sorry, you'll just have to rewind it. My God, he's right. That's not Albert Platt. That is him. I am Mark the Arturian. But the question isn't where am I from. The point the question is when am I from? Thank God that can't happen here. Stay tuned. Not that clip, you moron. The Inuit clip. Thank you. By now, most of you have heard of the Inuit Eskimos. The sun and the sky have changed. Perhaps the earth has shifted on its axis. And here's why you've heard of them. Many of you have heard of the Inuit Eskimos, but I bet you hadn't heard of the Inuits a year ago, before I featured them as a final scene of Earth 2016, Part 1. Perhaps the Earth is tilted on its axis. Inuki Adami of Iqaluit says he wonders if his world has shifted or tilted north. Well, that should about clinch it. I mean, we can't both be wrong. Stay tuned. What more possible proof could anyone need? That's all they got up there, folks. Sun and snow and water, the Earth has changed its tilt. Perhaps the Earth has tilted on its axis. We get heat from the sun after our world tilted. Well, it's good enough for me. Stay tuned. Yet most of you know by now that that wasn't good enough for Mark the Arcturian. I wanted 100% proof. And after years of making films demonstrating how the Earth must have shifted, like the end of it said, I, Mark the Arcturian, and only I, Mark the Arcturian, etc., etc., delivered the world's first and only 100% visual proof provided by NASA's own Discover Satellite that in one year, Africa slid 800 miles to the south. Now that'd be all fine and dandy, except I recently received some rather disturbing information from a viewer who claimed they were on the Inuit film crew that the Inuits had actually bribed a whale and a sea lion to go along with the story. Well, after intense investigation, it turns out the whale was Japanese, but the sea lion was not an Arctic sea lion at all, but one of the missing San Francisco sea lions, who recently washed up on the beaches of Santa Cruz, emaciated and malnourished. We'll treat them for any medical problems they have, then provide them all the nutrition they need to gain enough weight. And we have uh, release weights. We want an animal to be a certain weight. Now the good news. After two months at the Pacific Institute of Marine Life in Monterey, California, he's been nursed back to health. He's ready to be released into the water. 
and he's agreed to tell us the whole story. Right now, let's go live to Amy in Monterey. Amy, are you there with Snuffy? Just moments away from releasing Snuffy, the rescued seal back into the ocean. And now you see it, Snuffy's triumphant return. <laughs> Holy seal snacks. Amy, are you okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, one thing's for certain. Someone didn't want Snuffy's story to surface and circulate, that's for sure. Snuffy, assassinated on the verge of freedom. Poor Snuffy. Now we may never know the true story of the animal, the whale, and the sea lion. But here's one thing we do know. How the now confirmed heliophysical axial flux and increased Earth tilt will affect the weather where you live. So now let's join Tim standing by for a look at your local weather this week. Tim? Let's take a look at your forecast for today. Seeing as how it is the last day of existence, as you wake up this morning, man, not bad. 35 degrees out at the airport, 25 in Dalhart. We're 40 in Clayton right now. We're going to heat things up rather quickly later this afternoon. And uh, the magnetic poles flipping means that the magnetic field that keeps all the solar wind from uh, pulling away our atmosphere will be gone, meaning that the solar wind will rip our atmosphere away which will also increase our temperatures over the next couple of days. Uh, today's high temperatures, 573 here in town as that meteor does strike. We'll hit 573 in Pampa as well. Cooler back off to the northwest a little bit, 570 in Clayton. All right, your day planner, well, 26 as you make your way to work, but uh, the winds really do pick up later this afternoon. So do the temperatures, 481 by lunch. Southwest winds at 550 miles an hour. Those will increase to 600 as the solar wind does pick up later this afternoon. We'll top things out at... 573 like I mentioned and we'll cool things back down to 371 by later this evening. Metro area, sunny skies, warm temperatures, upper 70s to low 80s again. Gusty winds is what we're going to be talking about for the next couple of days. So when we unfold out that seven day forecast, you'll notice a typical seven day here in the state of New Mexico. Breezy conditions, also sustained winds getting close to that uh, extreme level, this is how you know your anchors aren't paying attention to you. Absolutely. It's April Fools, you turkeys! <laughs> This has been an Earth 2017 Special Report. I'm Mark Directorian. Doom and Gloom is next over most of these stations. I'd say it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. <laughs> <laughs> 